Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part two of taking the Fimi X8 Mini for a flight. Oh, the wind is bouncing the camera around. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part two of taking the Fimi X8 Mini out for a flight. Now today is really windy, so this is gonna be a good test. See how it does in the wind. And it's really cold. It's actually below freezing. That's why I have my gloves on here. I don't know what's going on with the weather here. It was rain, 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 no sun. First day of sun and it's really cold, but I'm out here flying this, so let's go. All right, have a look around. There's my Jeep. There's the drone down there. There's a tree. This is where I'm taking off, so uh, let's go. In the wind and it's coming at me. Let's go this way. It's really windy out here. It's doing well. I put the takeoff pad over here, but uh, I decided to take off over there. Let's take it up. Here we go, going up. This thing is really, really fast. It's a fast move. Oh my God, I'm looking right into the sun here. Let's go into intelligent flight mode. So let's go to smart track. I'm gonna go to trace. Okay, and here we go. Let's find me, trace me. There we go, hit go. And uh, I'm gonna walk this way. It should follow me, no problem. Oh, let me put the record on. There we go. Record's on. And I'm gonna run a little bit, see if it follows me I'm going past this weird thing on the ground. It's got me, I'm going around this way. How's it doing? It's still got me. I'm behind an object. Still got me, still got me. And still got me, so that's doing well. Now, if my phone is working here, hopefully it is, on the side of my phone on the screen, I have three little buttons. So right now I'm in trace, which means follow from behind, but I can put it on profile. So that's the next button down, profile. There we go, drone should move to the side. All right, so the drone's up there, it's a side thing. It should follow me from the side, not from the back. So there it is. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see it through this. It's under this bar there, it is up there. I'm going along, so it follows on the side. That's the one there. So that's the profile on the side. And then if I want it to go behind me, I just hit this one here at the top and that will switch it top. There we go. It switches it to from behind me. So if I walk this way, it has to get to the back of me. So I'm running out of space here. Get to the back of me. There we go. Now it's getting to the back. Okay, so that's working now. So follow me from behind. I'm running out of room here to walk. And the last one is uh, the lock. So I want to hold it in that position. I'm going to have it just stay where it is and I can move, but the drone won't move. And as well, I can have it rotate around me. How much room is there? All right, I will give it a shot. And uh, there we go. I'm going to turn it off in a bit because I don't want to hit these trees. Here, I'll take it up a bit, but it's rotating around me nicely. See what else we have in intelligent flight modes. Uh, so I did that. Tap to fly, I don't know if you've, I've shown this many times. Tap to fly is really simple. I should get my map. So you can see on the map, uh, the red is the drone, the blue is me. I'm just gonna zoom out. There's the highway over on the side. So all I do is I pick a spot on the map that I want the drone to fly to. So I don't know, why it's got a house down there, weird. Oh, that's where I took off. That's my uh, takeoff point with the H. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a spot over here and uh, I'm just gonna say go. The drone will fly, yeah, yeah, fly at three meters a second. It's gonna fly to that location. So that location should be over there. And there she goes. And I don't have the record on, so I can't show you what the image looks like, but there it goes. And uh, I'm gonna stop it, because that could be heading into somebody's house or a tree. So we did smart track tap to fly orbit. I want it to orbit me, so I'm gonna go, what do you want to orbit? I want it to orbit me, so I'll put it over me. So I'm gonna pick orbit, uh, okay. Please fly to top of center, that's me. Set the center, okay? And how far do I want the radius to be? I want it to be about, oh, there's good. Okay, radius is set, setting radius, go. And you can pick the direction, but I just said go whatever way it is. And it should start that way, I think. There we go. I'll put the record on so you can see what it looks like. The type of uh, rotation for point of interest I picked is to keep the drone always pointing this way as if the point of interest is over there. So it goes around, you see how it is? It keeps pointing that way as it goes around. If I wanted to, you know, basically look at me, I would have had to pick look at me, but I can spin it while it's in the air, watch. There you go. So I can, uh, let's see, where am I down here? I can keep it on me if I want. I'm doing this manually. So as it rotates, I'm just keeping the camera down towards me. There we go. And I've got it going super fast here. All right, let's stop that. OK, 
Okay, looking down at the flight modes, you have cinematic mode. I'm not going to do that one right now. It doesn't really do much. Tripod is usually the best, so let me do tripod. Tripod just makes it go slow. I'll put the record on, and I'll bring the drone down so you can see what tripod looks like. So this is tripod mode. That's full, full blast forward. Look at it. It's like you could, uh, you know, do whatever you want. Go home and have your lunch and come back, and it's still going forward. That's as fast as she goes. And if I get in front, you'll see... It should be pretty smooth here. Here, actually, I'll bring it this way. Come on this way. There we go. There you go. So I could get down here and it's going to go right over me. There we go. Right over. Oh, good. I'm, I wasn't far off from that. Let's just take that backwards through the posts. There we go. Let's look down, we have tripod mode, course lock. Course lock just keeps the drone going in one direction and you can move it. Fixed wing is FPV mode. You can have it flop around just like an FPV drone. Now, the SAR one's pretty cool. Say I was a lost person, look above my head. Say you flew this drone to find me, so you found me, I was lost. But you wanna send the rescue people, so where would you send them? Well, look above my head. You can see the coordinates right there, longitude and latitude. And if I go to the map, hello, and if I go to the map, uh, there it is as well. You can see it right there. The drone, longitude and latitude. My my mouth is frozen. It's so cold out here. All right, let's hop out of that one. Okay, now I'm in quick shots. Quick shots are a new little thing. They have soaring, droney, orbit, spiral. This is sort of like uh, a DJI drone. So what we're going to do is we'll try the first one, which is droney. So I'll hit droney. And how? what's the distance? 20 meters. There we go. So drag a box around me. There we are. And hit the little green button on the right and it just automatically record. I'm not putting the record on and it's gonna do just like the DJI Quick Shots. They basically copied the same thing. So there we go, there is a uh, droney. And this will save it to your phone so that you can send it off by social media and you have this short video clip of, hey, look, I'm on vacation by some big blue thing on the ground. And it's coming back to me, so it's got a return mode in it too. So it's nice that they added the exact same things that, you know, like the DJI Mavic Mini and the Mini 2 has. Coming back to me, there it is. Good. So I hit the X, I wanna hop out of that. All right, so over on my settings, I have a sport mode. Let me find that. Da -da 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 -da. Where are you, sport mode? I know, I saw you, sport mode right there. So I put it in sport mode and it's in sport mode now. It's gonna go like super fast. So I'm gonna take it up a little bit. Okay, drones up there, sport mode, here we go. Ooh, that sport mode caused some little thing with the wind and everything. Look at the top left of my corner. Strong vibration detected. Please land immediately. Low battery. Please land ASAP. Sport mode killed my battery. Oh, my God. All right. So, uh, you know what? In windy conditions and cold conditions, and I can see the red light on the back of the drone flashing. So, that little vibration thing, that's the same as DJI has for strong winds. And this one here, they, they don't write strong winds. They just say vibration. It's the same idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out how good the return to home is on this thing. So here we go. It's up there. I'm going to press return to home. There we go. It's going to turn. Now, you saw where I took off. It was over by a tree. It's going to go up. I've got it set to like 35. So I'll go walk over. It was over here in the corner. Oh, I see it coming back. Here she comes down. Here she comes. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. You know, I purposely took off beside the tree because I want to see how accurate it was. Oh, it's, it's coming down. It's coming down. All right, let's see where you're coming down. So. Where I put this blue thing is where I took off. Where it's coming down is over there. So the precision landing isn't so precise. Let's get this under you. Oh, I didn't make it in time. <laughs> now I'm chopping up leaves and everything. There we go. So looking at my phone screen after that flight, let me just tell you what I see. So first off, it says can't take off GPS. It just landed. So no idea what that's all about. It says strong vibration detected. Those little uh, warnings will stay on your screen. You know, you have to like move them to get them to go away. So that's like the wind thing that DJI has, you know, like, hey, strong winds, land, don't, you know, all that good stuff is the same thing. Don't worry about that. Low battery, please charge ASAP. So take a look at my battery over on the right hand side. It says it is like at seven, well, looks like it's a seven volts at 18%. Uh, so that's what I have left. Now I have to tell you, I came out here with a fully charged battery. 
It's very cold and it's very windy uh, and I've been flying around. You've only seen part of the video here. You haven't seen the whole video because I was like playing with a lot of buttons on my screen trying to get my screen record to work because my iPhone doesn't always record the screen. So I had to redo stuff. So I was out flying for a longer time. How long was I flying? I have no idea. No idea. Now I might come out for another flight in the future with a DJI Attic Mini if I have time. I just have so many products to review. But if you have questions on this drone, post them below. And once again, if you'd like to buy this drone, the links to where you can buy it are below. So far, if you check out YouTube, you can see most people are happy with this drone. Uh, some people are having a few problems, those people with Android phones. But if you have an iPhone, it seems to work seamlessly. No problem there. All right, guys, catch you in the next video. Bye.